So today I presented work on pediatric multiple sclerosis and clinical decision making and uh, basically uh, there's really three major points to understand about pediatric multiple sclerosis. There is a very broad differential that is emerging in any child with demyelinating disorders and this includes pediatric multiple sclerosis, ADM, NMO spectrum disorders as well as MOG antibody associated conditions and this is very important to understand the differences uh, between these different uh, types of demyelinating or neuroinflammatory disorders which can present in somewhat similar ways. Um, they do have different treatments and uh, we are understanding the pathogenesis is different between these disorders. And so regarding treatment for pediatric multiple sclerosis, um, it's important to understand that this is a very inflammatory disorder that these young people, these children and teenagers, have a high uh, relapse rate as well as accrual of new lesions very rapidly. So it's important to think about high efficacy treatments and that's generally my practice and I look to uh, starting high efficacy treatments either as first or very shortly after second line treatment. I monitor very closely and conduct uh, an MRI within six months of starting any new treatment and then annually and if there are any new lesions that accumulate then I would move up to a second line treatment very rapidly.